Hello and welcome to Calm Versations with the Voice of Reason. I'm your host, Benjamin Boyce, and today's conversant is Anne Mayora, who is an immigrant from Spain to the United Kingdom. And in this conversation, we talk about her trans-identifying daughter, who's got other issues going on, and uh, transgenderism is apparently something that this young woman has become fixated on. And we talk about that story. We also talk about the way in which gender ideology is being implemented in Spain and how nobody has really expected the Spanish transition. Ha ha ha. That's the title. That's probably why you're watching this video. Anne's great. She's got a thick accent, but I try to do what I could with the audio. I find her to be a lovely person to speak with. So without further ado, here is Anne Mayora. So what is your, uh, what's your background or your story? Well, um, well, I'm here because I, I did English at uni, so at the end I ended up marrying a Bristolian. And that's why I'm here. And then um, I had to. I had two daughters, and the youngest, who is now 18, identifies as trans. Did that come out of nowhere for you? Uh, well, he, she, you see, I just this. Uh, mm -hmm. We can talk about all this in a minute. Um, Always a tomboy, always a tomboy. But since he was like two, we, yeah, yeah. Then in the years, late years of primary, year five, year six, maybe maybe even year four, she let her grow her hair. She was going to a Catholic school uniform, and she had to wear. A pine of pinafore, pinafore. Um, no, it was not. <laughs> she didn't have a chance. Um, and well, I was worried when she started uh, reception. But uh, the day she had to go in, walk into reception, uh, she accepted it. But you should have seen her face. Yeah. Like, mm, uh, how do you say it in English? The rota. So I lost, you know, I lost the, this battle. Or oh, I can't win this battle. Or... Hmm. Well, but anyway, the, the primary years started, okay, she was a tomboy, but she was her uniform. The first, the, the normal, no? First few years, um, she was very quiet, but even at home. Um, and first few years, both friends, boy and boys and girls, and then but this that's what you see. Um, and then year four they started doing your groups of girls with girls and boys with boys and all this. And I thought she had done okay. She had blended okay. It was a very small school. It was only one um, one class per per year. So they were very nested there, you know? Yeah. And very, and very protected. Um, well, in a way, I guess. And then, years, and then at the end of year six, typical. Start uh, fights between girls. Does she have say this? Ha normal things. I could see that um, she didn't understand why no but um i tried to explain in, and said that you always had the boys and uh, and you always had a good relationship with them yeah but now you know it's, everything is changing they don't they don't i'm not like saying i'm not more one of them anymore no one of the bands anymore yeah uh, and then year seven started I was petrified. So from that school to uh, comprehensive, um, it's a good school, eh? very, very uh, popular in this area, uh, but 2,000 students. Yeah? And I was petrified. 
because I, I have had problems with her older sister. And when well, we are seven, came and go, but she started saying that um, she didn't, she started um, no getting up in the mornings. And at the beginning, from time to time, and then, and then the eight came. She had friends, she was making friends, but um, I could see she was finding it very difficult, the typical girly things. And um, and he was finding lo- and she was finding lost, I think, in that school. And um, well, so the year eight, first term, difficult. Second, after Christmas, she didn't go. She, she didn't return to school. What did she do with herself? And uh, in her room. In her room. Uh, on the internet? She had, um, yes. Um, she had me completely control. Completely control. Um, I couldn't go out. If I went out, she was calling me every five minutes. Where are you? Where are you? That was before hmm. she came out. It was, I don't have a mirror. Uh, she broke all the mirrors. I tried everything. I tried her all, the schoolmaster, because she had a very good relationship, because they both were very musical. And, um, she had joined bands, and she was she's quite talented musician. And, um, well, after a year or so like that, she told me, Mom, I'm a boy. Did you did you ask no. her what what that meant to her? What does it mean to be a boy for her? No, no, no. I didn't know what to do. I didn't. I had. I didn't have a clue what to do. But um, but, but I contacted some feminists quite straight away because I thought they would know what was that about. <laughs> um, yeah, but the school, well, the school changed name, and then um, my dad was dying, and he refused to come to Spain if his, his, his passport wasn't showing his, um, how do they call it? No. How they call it? No. <laughs> so, so, so you're in you're in England. She was going yes. to school in England, and she yes. sh- she couldn't or she wouldn't go to Spain until she fixed her passport to reflect her yes. gender identity. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You are what you want to help me eh? with, <laughs> because I go Spain is you is far. Um, it's a big story. Yeah. No. Well, and. Uh, so I called the school, said this and that. I said, oh, but you only have to do a um, did, did, pull, did, did, pull, did, pull, is the paper you have to fill up, the document? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Pull. The, ah, you are not, ah, you are not British. I'm not British no. and I'm not European either, so I don't know all yeah, the so, bureau- bureaucratic well, there is lingo. A, well, it's a document, did, pull. Eh, D E E D Paul, um, which you change your name basically. That's it, and that becomes your real name. Yeah. You need, and that's it. And it was all the requirement requirement she needed. And um, from that, straightforward the passport. And um, and I didn't know. You, I still was quite. But then I started. Uh, well, well, so everything. But yes, what, please, because otherwise I. Yeah. What What was the um. What was the feeling of encountering this new person or this new identification? What did? What were the feelings? Fear. Fear. Okay. Fe- fear. Okay. Fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear for her fear, safety. Um, fear for her. Or relief in a way because for a year I didn't know what was going on 
uh, why <laughs> she wouldn't talk. Fr I remember that summer, some friends came from Spain, but a very good friend since we were five. And I, we've been going to Spain every summer. We had, uh, we had a caravan there, so uh, we, we would spend all summer there and all school summer and all that. Because I was a teacher too. So, um, so it's this friend, he had known her since she was born. Yeah? And they had quite a relationship. And her, well, they came, he couldn't come down to have dinner with them. No, 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 he refused to see anybody. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Okay. So just um, in, in their room. So, yes. So all the time um, on the internet he, or something, yeah, I guess. Um, yeah. Any any hormones at this point or changing? No, the no, way that no, they no, dress? no. Still nothing. And it's, no, because he always had been a tomboy. Okay. <laughs> so the changing clothes, or okay. or, or that wasn't a change. And did you change their name? Change calling yes. them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did. <coughs> I did. And um, but he's he's eighteen. I'm talking now, almost five years later, <clears throat> and he still she still hasn't done anything. Oh, okay. So and he's he's over. So he's he's um, he's not a child anymore. He's an adult. Yes. She's an adult. Uh, so I'm just going to use they um, for <laughs> your daughter, if that's okay. No, no. No, no, it's me that, that go from one to other. Yeah, you go, you go from, you can go from one to the other as you feel fit. But just for the sake of consistency, I'll just use they, just to get yes. the pronouns out of the way. So yeah. they socially transitioned and yeah. dropped out of school, or were still in school. Yes, yes, no, no, no. He didn't go for three years to school. Okay. So, so eight, what? Eight, nine, ten. Yeah. What would she do? with her time nothing talk to you not much well he started demanding my attention um, she started demanding my attention like i will never listen to her yeah because she was a they all have the same he did she didn't remember anything from, for from when she was a child yeah um, any any psychologist uh, or any professional help? Uh, well, we contacted um, the the I how is they call camps, which is the service public service for for children in in I guess it's England and, and Wales, and um, <clears throat> but they are over. No, of they no don't help. Have okay. No help at all. They got she, she got a, a therapist, but they didn't match. And then she started with another one, and that was going a bit better. But she changed jobs, and okay. we had we went back to the waiting list. And in the meantime, she turned eighteen. Okay, was she writing at all or doing anything with herself? Well, time? the last yeah, so like two years ago, through the school, uh, we managed to engage her in um, in the youth club in, in, in Portishead, where okay. we live. Um, they have some courses and things, no? So we managed to engage her in. One was a bit of maths and English, and then the other one was music. Oh. Music, or she will do photography, or more artistic things. And music, I insisted. Again, I knew she was very talented, um, but she didn't. She didn't want to do it. She will say that um, it's it's a hobby. It's not like. So I don't know. I don't know if it's that was because she had lost all confidence or why okay. she refused to do. But at, at the end, I, I we, we did it like um, a bit of photography, music, uh, a bit of art, you know, that too. So she did that, 
two mornings a week and um, for a for a school year and then the following year again through her school we managed to get her in a special course in a college nearby but that didn't work so that brings us to last year and I'm talking about school years here and last year she went again it went a bit better she did just maths and English um, and that went a bit better I think it gave her a bit of a lot of confidence that she wasn't dumb at all. Also, although we haven't had a proper um, diagnosis, is 99% uh, that uh, she's got she's in the spectrum of auth auth autism. autism. Uh, yes, thank you. Okay. And yes, so that for her that was important too, knowing what was going on with her a bit no yeah uh, yes so that's where we are now now she works she's still doing this course so she can do um like um um how do you call it a course next year so she's able to join university courses okay uh, yeah. for, so for she, a longer role, she does have know? a sense of future like the, she's working towards yes, something. Yes, she, she's got. She, yes, she's got something now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And she's still in England. She's still with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And any pressure from you or your husband for her to get a job or for do something or? No, you, but she, no, she's done it now. She started herself. Okay. Yeah. Herself and she does for part time jobs. You know, bars and things. Okay. So, so she, you, she, she has an identity, a male identity, but she doesn't really. She does, she's not doing any medical stuff. Mm -mm. Um, do, do you perceive that she uses that to uh, control uh, situations where she otherwise feels out of control or helpless? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe I I haven't thought it like that, but okay. maybe because I was convinced, no, um, that I was scared and convinced that when she turned eighteen, she will start taking hormones or something. Okay. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, she got a bunch of money. My dad had left her. Uh, it, it wasn't enough for a, a, a mastectomy, but yes. mastectomy. But I thought, if she goes to a private clinic with this money, and she's working weekends and all that, I'm sure they will make them a plan to pay this easily, no? Yeah. And no, no, she hasn't done any. She hasn't done anything. Okay. So I was I was told about you in reference to Spain's laws around transition. Mm -hmm. I met a couple yeah. of women from Spain at the Genspect conference a couple yes, weeks ago. Yes, uh, Gemma, yeah. Yeah, and they said that there was some weird stuff going on and that you kind of understood <laughs> it. And could you inform us about that? Well, what, what we think that we have, well, we think, I don't know, um, it's, it's what's going on in a lot of places at the moment, in, yes. you know, in a lot of countries. Yeah. Uh, what is different in Spain? That every single party, every, all the spectrum, are in favor of this. Okay. That, um, because we have, uh, you have to start and understand Spanish politics. Um, so we have two major parties, uh, nationwide, uh, which the conservatives um, and the Partido Socialista or Español, the Socialist, Socialist Party, okay. which is the Labour Party, no? Here, yes, no? And, and conservatives. Well, that's. Uh, uh, I'm uh, really sorry. So uh, just yeah. can we back up just a little bit because I know you guys had like this whole like fascist uprising and anti-communist yes. uprising. Like, uh, what was that like during World War Two or right before World War Two? Just before. No, no, no. They, okay. It was a training camp for World War Two Spain. 
Okay. Spanish Civil War was a training camp for that. It was a lot of your, um, how do you say it in English? Antifa. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> yeah, was, no. there were a lot of uh, los, las brigadas internacionales, no? the international okay. brigades, lots of Americans there. Yes. That they were the only, the only ones that helped us. Um, um, the hell, the Republic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no. So, so what was the outcome of the Spanish well, Civil War? Well, politically? Uh, well, so the fascist won. Okay. And, and then the, uh, because they all finished in April, April 39. And in a okay. few months later, you know what happened. Yeah. Second World War started. Yeah. Um, so the Spanish Civil War was a training camp. Um, obviously, uh, the free war didn't want fascism, but didn't want communist either, communism either. Yeah. No? Okay. And um, so the Spanish legitimate Republican um, Republican uh, government was left. To his to its own devices by the international community. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, because obviously no intervention, no intervention, no intervention. But we we know who who burned my town. Guernica two days later, etc. etc. The Germans. Eh? The Germans were trying her war armament. Okay. Her new eh, there. Bueno. So after the war, we have 40 years that the the free war decided to leave us with um, with Franco uh, because mm, otherwise what will happen? Communists will start from Spain again. Oh really? Okay. Uh, uh, so Franco so, was an anti-communist, and he kept them in check during his 30 or 40 year reign. Is what you're saying? 38. Wow. 30, oh. yeah, almost 40 years. We always talk about 40 years. Okay. I'm going to have a cigar. Oh, yeah, that's you fine. Are, that's fine. So You are not in the same room. <laughs> go, I, I, like the, I like the window dressing. It's, it's a great little addition to the video part of this uh, program. Um, so how was so, the economy uh, so we, during this time? So what happened, you can imagine, we start to recu try to recuperate after a civil war, and we have a war around us yeah. Yeah? Uh, and obviously Germans were in Spain like if they were at the summer houses no hmm. uh, Italians the same uh, and Franco needed to find food Franco needed to find uh, so people didn't revolt against him no the so at the beginning, it was quite a bit, um, it was hard, very hard. My mom always talk about, she always remembers those years. She had, um, she was nine when the war finished. So she always remembers those years, so the, her teenage years and all that, in gray. She always remembers those, as if it was, she was watching a, an old film, no? Yeah. In mm. gray, because it was, the, the life was very hard, very hard. Uh, and then, around, well, uh, Europe started with American money. Europe started developing and doing very well. Uh, we let Germany do the same. Um, and uh, the government in Frankfurt so realized that they had to open the, a bit the, trade. the frontiers, no, yes. to the trade and so with the help of the Americans again. So we let us, we let, um, uh, we have, I think, three or four American, I had it, uh, uh, from the OTAN, bases, yes, yes. thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> American bases in Spain. You, you can imagine how important it is for America, no? Because we are two hours from the Middle East in, in a flight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Africa is... Just there. to the south, yeah. yeah. You can see it from the south of Spain. You can see it in good days. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's the way to Europe, no? When coming from the south. Yes. And, well, so uh, so Franco let, let mm, the Americans, three, three or four, 
I think now there are three, but it's, initially there were four um, bases. And obviously America gave us a lot of money. And then the, 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 it was a bit of an opening of the system, no? The, um, a bit of color started uh, getting in, in the yeah. country. And obviously he was getting old. So we knew that, unfortunately, he was going to die on, in bed, but <laughs> he wasn't going to last forever, no? And so that's when my generation comes in, no? Because I was 13 when he died. Mm. So we still remember things, how, like, the, the fear uh, to talk about third certain things, even in the house, eh? Eh, eh, eh! No, your father, no, you've been in the, in, after dinner, no, oh, we've been talking about something, and eh, 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 remember not to say anything about it, this at the school tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Things like that, no? Okay. Uh, about po- politics, so it was it was tense. Yeah, might well, happen. I'm Basque. I'm Basque. <laughs> what does that mean, that you're Basque? Is that uh, uh, like I'm a minority? The I, 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 the, um, it, it's a Basque name, yes. And my Anne, too, is, is Anna. But never mind. Uh, so, what I was going with the parties uh, before, so we have now... Mm, since uh, since 1978, that was when the new constitution was approved, and it was like we call it the transition. <laughs> that never ends. <laughs> never ends. Yes. Uh, no, from one regime to to a democratic one, no. Yeah. Well. And well, it was a, a lot uh, to do, no, like uh, blind eyes, uh, a bit like in Argentina, no, the forget forget the past and let's start uh, a new thing but obviously all the statement all this all the well, never mind the thing is that then you have in spain you have those two parties that are in all the country but then in the Basque country in catalonia that they too have their own language it's a very nationalist um, mm? then you have the South Andalusia, the biggest and the poorest region in Spain. Maybe it's not the poorest, but yeah. It, and what does that mean? That it's undeveloped? It's just a lot of land farming? No, like, what's it's the industry? Just, not much, though they have some because it's very big. I mean, it's, um, it's the biggest in, in population and in everything, obviously. Okay. A lot of tourism. Yeah, you have there, remember, you have there Seville, Granada, Cordoba, all the Arabs, all that thing. Um, the weather, eh? it's a lot. Uh, has, um, in the 70s, where well, they built all the coast with scrap. Uh, Skyscape scrap. scrapers, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you run on mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, can, I can read between the lines. And um, yes, so and but uh, is there are jobs that are very seasonal, no? Yes. And because they, uh, it's always been it's, it's been Spain's um, farm, really, Andalusia. Mm, but again, uh, no, no conditions. A lot of population in the sixties emigrated north. No, to the Basque Country, to okay. Catalonia, because apart from having our own language and our long thing is, we are the richest in the country. Okay, and apart from yes, yeah. so, so you have then all these parties because how the electoral system is uh, formed, you have all these country, all these parties, nationalists, in the in the corners of the Spain. And um, and maybe a party that is being bought, like uh, the Basque nationalists that have been in the Basque government for 40 years, yeah. uh, they've been bought but less than a million people. Okay. And they so, have five. And they have five um, representatives in Madrid. Yeah. In, in Madrid, okay. the same as a. I don't know. Okay. Uh, yes. So th- there's these different cultures that are pretty strong, uh, like insular, 
very particular cultures. They have their own language, their own sense of culture. Yeah. How and does it, Spain? It, people, so, so that means that there's a lot of tension in Spain yeah. culturally. Yeah, that they. What no, makes Spain people. Spain? Uh, and not these not, three but, different places. I, th I will say that diversity eh, is something that in any other countries in Europe you don't hyphen, you don't find anymore, because they've been like in in France. No, France had a lot of little nationalities. Of, yes, eh, that, that you can the, the part of the Basque country is in France. Eh, you have the Bretons. Yeah. The Britons, you have the, um, uh, but they managed so well after re the French Revolution. They managed so well to centralize. Yes. Which in, in Spain doesn't hasn't happened. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have Madrid, you have Castilla, all the area around Madrid. You have the two Castillas. Yes. Very rural. Um, and then you have. As I said, you have the Basque Country, you have Galicia in the northwest, you have Andalusia, you have Catalonia. That is, bueno, it's a lot of money there, no? Yeah. So, so, so the the and, civil... and then the importance of their votes, no? When the political games start, the importance of those votes, okay. because the because of how the electoral law is made. Uh, with if you are in one of those autonomies that like we have 17 <laughs> uh, um, in the small ones it's very powerful it's very powerful uh, the power the, the Catalans and and the um, and the Basque can have in the central government anyway so what has happened with these 17 autonomies that since 2011, 10, I could tell you more exactly yeah, if you want to. Um, they started, these autonomies starting without um, any publicity, without um, um, social discussion or anything. All the trans approving, stuff just started approving, crept in. Approving, okay. approving the, the different laws, Okay. little by little. So, and then you now suddenly you get to the most progressive government in the history of Spain with the socialists and Podemos, which <laughs> extreme left. I may just makes me laugh. <laughs> extreme left. Um, that they're getting all this crap in Spain. So they. The Ministry of Equality, the her only mission has uh, been in this, um, how do you call it, the four year period. They govern, they govern for how it's called. Yeah, well, we have a presidential election cycle. Is that what you're talking about? Yes. Eh? So, it, this period, her only aim and objective has been to approve a law that will obviously, obviously the law of all Spain is um, is a higher hierarchy of the the laws from the autonomies. But it's nothing that it wasn't happening. It's not going to. The only thing is that um, um, now, when you have the penalties, if you misgender somebody, or if you 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 know all the okay. shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So it, it's but it's uh, nothing that the, 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 from the different autonomies, those go, those uh, the governments weren't doing already in the schools with protocols. Uh, they have their own um, uh, gender units. In the, they are different in different uh, autonomies, and what is happening is that how do you say uh, it's a saying in Spanish, no? The, um, that your left hand uh, doesn't know what your right no, hand is doing. Yeah, something like that is similar to that one. No. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So, what unifies Spain as Spain? Is there a national identity, or just kind of a begrudging some kind of cooperation? It. What? Some feel it, others don't. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And because I am uh, yes. Especially from the borders, from the corners of Spain. Yeah. Maybe people don't, doesn't feel yeah. that identity because 
what is implied? No, I don't know to cook a paella. I don't know flamenco. I don't know how to add flamenco. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's so, it's so uh, off for me as it will be for you. Maybe not because we speak the same, same language. The language is very unifying, obviously. Yeah. Okay. Uh, because even if we speak another languages, we, we all speak Spanish. And what about religious? Is it still pretty strongly Catholic? Catholic. 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 No, because there is Catholic. But because there is, because the church is still very per- powerful. The Catholic church is still very powerful. But because there, are, there have been in the last 30 years a lot of immigration we didn't know before, uh, a lot of Muslims again. Mm. Um, and then people coming from Latin America, there is a lot of evangelists there. Yeah. Um, and then always, and then we don't have other communities, um, let's to say the we always have, always have had Jews, but uh, no, it's nothing very significant. Yeah. Um, ma- it's much more significant than the Muslims. Okay. Mm. So weren't weren't you guys like in, in medieval times? You guys were invaded by uh, Islam, but uh, war, Arabs, yeah. the war the, the Arabs came as warriors, but now they're coming as immigrants. But it's kind of the same kind of cultural influx. Well, uh, what they brought in the medieval years was good. What they bring in now with the Muslim, with the religion, I don't okay. know if uh, because look, I remember in my hometown. We used to manufacture arms, and so we guns. have the uh, guns. What uh, more than anything rifles. for yeah. uh, for gaming? Oh, okay, hunting we rifles. We were famous then. for so yeah, we were uh, famous for gaming. Yeah, for um, and so I, my my uncle had a little a little factory, and where they. Another word I know, I don't know. I don't know in English. They worked on a specific uh, piece of the burn, gun. Where, where, we, where they burn the metal. Okay. Uh, Galvanize the metal. I don't know what the process is, but yeah, and or, all those processes. They, they need um, um, massive ovens, uh, high, very high temperatures. I don't. Know, I can't remember the word in English. So um, obviously, in the seventies. People from the town started not wanting that kind of job. So some Muslims came, uh, they, three or four families, and they were very well integrated. Then around the 90s, the priest, the priest came, and all those women that have walked in town without anything. The hijabs, yeah. they, so the they culture jam. came and... Yes, and the imposition, and they were more, um, they started um, martinizing themselves, really, because those f- those families, I'm talking about my town, it has 20,000 inhabitants. Uh, uh, those inhabitants, that, those Muslims that came first, they were quite well integrated. And I went to school with one of the daughters of them, and I never saw her wearing a... And she would wear the same clothes I was wearing. Not the same type of clothes. Yeah. And then suddenly, so yes, that's, um, but in, in, on the contrary, when they came in those in medieval years, they had a much developed culture that we had in Europe. Much, much more. Yeah. So they, the they brought state, order, they yeah. brought expertise, they brought uh, a certain they amount brought, of... All the irrigation systems in the south. Math, and yeah. Everything they had, they have trans- because all the Greek uh, philosophers have been lost with the... Um, yeah, uh, with the burning of Rome. When the, the Rome, Roman yeah. Em- yeah. Empire. So they have translate all the Greeks. So they came through Spain, because we have in Toledo, we have a very famous translation school where Jews, Muslims, uh, Latin were working together. Yeah. Uh, and they brought a lot of culture, not only to Spain, to a lot of... All of Europe, Europe yeah. To, okay. to the whole of Europe, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what am I telling you? 
we were talking. We were going to talk about something. Else. Well, I, I, it's just so fascinating, like the history of this, um, the trans stuff aside, or going back to the trans stuff. If there is yes. an influx of uh, contemporary Islam into Spain, does that not contradict the influx of transgenderism? Isn't isn't Islam a little bit more strict around what is a man, what is a woman than this uh, That's trans why they stuff? Prefer, that, no, no, no. They are very misogynistic, homophobic. They prefer. Look what's happening in Iran. Iran is one of the countries that has approved uh, okay. a law, a law similar to the Western. World. So, it, so you're because you're opining that it dovetails, transition dovetails, because it eradicates homosexuals uh, and yes, uh, yeah. marginalizes them yeah. as uh, women are marginalized in that particular interpretation of Islam. Mm. Okay. But it happens in a lot of conservative environment. Eh? In Malta, too, Malta is Europe. But Malta doesn't have a, an abortion law, for example, but ha it has a trans law. Okay. Yeah. So, oh. so, so n there's no opposition on many different fronts. Uh, no political opposition uh, and, not, and very no, little. The only opposition is feminist. Feminist. What about the Catholics? Well, uh, but they don't want to. Well, obviously, the <laughs> progressive left <laughs> accuses us of being right being the worst of the right yeah. because we say in the same things as they do and we, but that's the that's a way of trying to get into us but feminists are um, used to being uh, vilified so yeah yeah okay <laughs> and does does f do these feminists have any political capital in spain no yeah, okay. No, there, there, was a, uh, there was a feminist party, but well, there is, no, there was not, there is a feminist party that was, um, it, it joined like a coalition with uh, left-wing parties, Yeah. but they were, um, because of her, presi her president, Lydia Falcón is very polemic, uh, she's an 80-year-old woman, eh? instead, with all her marbles here, and very, very, very clear to what she's saying, to whom and how. And, um, well, they were expelled from this coalition because of her position with the trans. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay. So, and this, and so she was going, uh, they would, maybe they had got some counselors in, in, uh, Yes, in, in town halls or maybe some parliaments, but always within the coalition. But now, for the first time, they go in on its own. There are um, in Spain um, now uh, council and regional, local and regional elections, the 28th of May. Okay. So they go in for the first time on their own, but only in Madrid. They, they don't have the feminist to, party or the feminists. The the only foothold yes. they have is in Madrid. Mm -hmm. So, just on a cultural level, if we can zoom way back, um, if if this question even makes sense to you as a feminist, yeah. is there a a Spanish ideal of the woman? Is is, is there what is the the concept the Spanish conception <laughs> of the feminine and the female? And the I know it's, very, yeah, very, very is it very well developed? Done. And how, well, what is the content yes. of it? Yeah, well, you go for areas, but you can imagine, you know, the Spanish woman, uh, very fiery, Fiery. Very sexual. Yes, sensual, uh, sexual. Fiery, and then, sexual, yeah. And, and then as, yeah. as a mother, um, is there like and this they, transition? And we are like the Italians. Very strong, yeah, Italians, matriarchal. Very strong, matriarchal. Mom, okay. Moms, yeah. And yeah. traditionally, did women participate in politics, or was that kind of like men's job, and women really owned men's the home? Job. Okay. There was an opening, there was a big opening, the three years that the Republic was working, till okay. Franco decided to, yeah, there was a big opening, we... Um, women in Spain start uh, uh, won the, the the right to vote. 
Yes. There was the the, the, lay, the law of the divorce law. Divorce law, okay. Yeah. And property the, laws the kind of changed up, got loosened for uh, women? Or I'm that not sure about that, but I know they were talking about abortion law when all start when when all when bang they but then for till franco died and later till the 80s women in spain couldn't open a bank account oh. without the permission of their husband husband yes okay. father or okay yeah all right eh? but well in well in middle 80s maybe Late hmm, the beginning of the eighties, I would say. So, so what? Because f- there are different types of feminism, and feminism kind of start and started in the Anglican sphere. It started in Britain, and it started in America. Yes, with very with the, so, yes. It, and those are different cultures than Spain. So, I'm wondering how See, feminism adapted to the Spanish culture and what it was principally about. But it was it's, a, it's about everywhere. I mean, feminism has a political agenda and has a theory and has its... Mm? Yeah. So, ob- obviously, um, I don't know, you can't talk, uh, it's the same with any other, you can't talk the same way to an uh, industrial city, to the people that live in an industrial city, that to the people that live in a, in a rural environment, no? Yeah. They have different needs, they have different... Um, but, Family uh, structures. Different value systems. Yes, yeah. different values. Because because American feminism has different flavors, but one of it is the uh, basically the masculinized corporate woman, the woman who wears the business suits and is just as good as men, or like the man bashing feminist. And like that works in our that works in our culture. I don't know if that necessarily works in a culture where the ideal feminine is fiery, is sensual, is 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 really uh, is maybe founds her power in the see, home. Other than maybe, maybe property and voting. And and stuff like that, but the cultural feminism, I don't well, see how it... I, I, maybe we don't see that um, masculinization of, um, let's say, powerful women like happens in America. Yeah. Eh? Eh, you will have an example. Look at uh, the president of the Santander Bank. Hmm? What's she like? Oh, oh she. Uh, she's of, of Irish descendant, or she. I know about her um, first, uh, sorry, mistake, first... Obviously, first uh, surname is Botin. Eh? So, uh, well, she's very a very typical Spanish woman um, of what is a a professional Spanish woman, but it's not that, um, that she doesn't show that aggressivity that maybe American women, powerful American women do. I'm sure because they need to do, do it, <laughs> It's a different culture, a different yeah, value set. Yeah, so, yeah. so, and, and I think that that's just an important thing to take account of. And then when we get into the trans stuff, where where men are donning extremely feminine behaviors and want to be accepted uh, or want society to accept their, the manifestation of extremely feminine behaviors, how that either jives or clashes or doesn't clash with the idealized feminine and spain well, yeah well they, they, they obviously you know what they do they they follow the the topic no the uh, 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 but in spain <laughs> look at me <laughs> uh, i haven't wear um, high heels since my early 20s probably yeah maybe yeah. in a wedding um, of course yes yeah no, so it's like it's the same everywhere. Then, okay, uh, you are telling me what I should behave. So you telling me what you, I you know a man is telling me again what a woman is, and um, and what is showing me is a very misogynistic prototype of woman. Mm? But he gets a heart from it probably. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just wondering where yeah. the backlash or where the pushback and is. Then we have, and then we have, and then we have the cheeky ones, no? The cheeky that ones. Have, yeah, I would call cheeky ones from not calling them something else. Um, yeah, the ones that they have uh, spread like mushrooms around, 
in electoralists, politicians now, okay. that are taking, like in the sports, they take in the role of women. Yes. And there are and there are three or four or five that they ha- there is one, for example, I'm uh, thinking about now, the Colau one, and Macolau, she makes he makes himself called now. And Macolau. So he's completely bald. He wears uh, uh, a suit, but also heels. Okay. Okay, so he is in Macolau. And it makes uh, him a woman. He is, yeah. Wearing high heels. So they laugh him. They laugh him at us. Okay. They laugh him at us. Eh? Uh, I mean, it's, and then he was in the decision not to take any dra- any hormones and all this. Uh, I know that uh, may be controversial, but it took me a lot of meditation to... Meditation? You didn't want to be... <laughs> And, and that's it. That's all the meditation that took. <laughs> you didn't want to be castrated, my love. <laughs> that's it. All the meditation it took. Yeah. So, so yes. That's, those are the tricky ones. Your, your husband... They, they, Yes. Your sorry. husband is uh, just to get back to your family just a little bit. Your husband is uh, he's he's British. Yes, he's British. Historian. But he's my ex-husband. Okay. Ex-husband. Okay. Um, so I'm just wondering, your daughter grows up with a Spanish mother and an Anglican father or Anglo father, Anglican, and like yeah. I wonder English. how like that that culture might have confused her or like made her. I just wondered how that informed her fitting in or her not fitting in or. Oh, they didn't like my accent. No, they were. They always felt a bit embarrassed. You know how yeah. children are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. why you have to be different? No? Yeah. Were you Were you Catholic? Did you guys practice Catholic? Did she grow uh, up? Catholic? Well, I was. I, I was baptized and Just, all that. And, uh, yeah. My parents didn't culturally. have a choice. Yeah. Uh, no, no, they didn't have a choice. I was born in 1963. <laughs> they didn't have a choice. They had to do it under the dictatorship. Um. So, but no, 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 no. No, no, I'm not religious at all. Yeah. At all. No. Okay. Yeah. Um, no, I don't want any of them. I, I, I think they all the same. Hmm. Uh, another. Well, uh, another so, oppressive no, structure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm just wondering, yes. in the absence of oppressive structures, what do you. Aren't you just going to swap out another oppressive structure for another oppressive structure? It just seems like that it's so fragile. Freedom from oppression mm. is so fragile. Mm. And temporary. Yes, it is. Yeah. Into, yes, it is. Because it's funny, you know, the, you, you don't have to... It's, it's the most retrograde thing I've seen. But maybe we were talking about the medieval ages. Maybe something like that. Hmm. So, no, no, not as much, but not from romance and what happened. We're going backwards. Well, there's uh, there's something in Spanish Inquisition about some of the behavior of the radical activists. I'll tell you that much. They kind of just show up on your doorstep and torture you until you yeah, reform. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah, but... Yeah, no, no, it's, um, no, 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 it's, apart from the damage they're doing, but not only to our children. Well, but if you do it to the children, the children of society in general, um, from the back door, and what I'm finding in, is that people tell you you're crazy, and they don't want to know. Okay. So, so even at this point in time, Spain isn't aware, the Spanish populace isn't really aware of the it's magnitude getting, of getting, this cultural shift. It's getting, what's happening, that we're a bit, it's always, Spain always was two, three, four years after Anglo, uh, um, yeah. Anglo countries, okay. no? Yeah. But we assimilate every, no? Mm, assimilate everything that comes. It's a matter of uh, and um, it, it 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 takes was, a couple of years, but it's complete when when it happens. It uh, happens uh, overnight. Uh, so what's happening that when they started with this law, this, the law for, for the state, the 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 government that has now it is in power, 
we feminists knew what was happening in Britain, what was happening in Sweden, what was happening in America, what was happening in a lot of places. Um, it started. But the, the Ministry of Equality has refused to see us. Us, or groups like Amanda, I uh, guess you have heard of Amanda, no? Gemma didn't tell you about it. Amanda? Amanda is a, Amanda, yes. Now, Amanda is an association of uh, parents okay. like me yeah. that are uh, gender critical. Okay. So it might be the case that um, the people who are pushing the trans agenda in Spain had already uh, practiced in uh, Britain and America, and they knew what would be the steps. They knew what groups would come, oh, yes, and yes. then they just said, no, no, don't, because, don't listen to these groups. Because if you, re for example, if you start reading... Uh, I remember when here in Scotland they were they were going to approve the last gender recognition and all that. act or something. Yes, no, 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 yeah. yes, I started reading it, the act, and it was the same word, the same wording yeah. that the Spanish law. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Eh? Uh, they have the to wait thing, three yeah. months to go back. Uh, uh, no, they need. Lots of things, lots of things. The same, well, this is obvious that this, this is an international lobby eh, that is pushing an agenda yeah. that... Mm, okay. And so on, in, in Spain, so far as you know, cause you don't live there, but I'm sure you're still connected to it. Like, what's the response to transgenderism on the popular front? Is it just, is it pushed well, through the people, media? Do people... Oh, Just accept yes. it? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. All right. So it's, it's, a... only, it's only the last 18 months that you can see in the, um, how do you call it, general per, uh, ma yeah. media? Social so media. The, and, and no social media, the... Um, the mainstream media. Established. Yeah, the establishment me media, yeah. The Legacy minus, media, yeah. yeah. Yes, uh, that some articles against... But poof, child no, transition, no, it's, it's women in sports, like where's the pressure point? Women in sports, that, that was a quite an eye opening. Okay. Yeah. 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 There, there's been a few things. Um, what happened in England, no? With all the Tavistock stuff. Yes. Oh, and um, medically, uh, is Spanish has a centralized uh, socialist me medicine? Oh, so it's more of an American no, model? No, that's be it's because, that's because, so the Catalans had transit for example which is i mean i can't send you all this information if you wait a couple of days um transit which is like a facilitator of hormones really yeah so and it depends of, of the spanish uh, the it's public it's not private. so so uh, spanish healthcare is public it's publicly owned and operated yes it's not private yeah no. Interesting. Okay. So and and so they have their own like GIDS or Tavistock type yeah, gender yeah. clinics. So for, yes. Eh? So they have, apart from the gender clinics, you have is more like surgeries. Yeah. If for example, uh, for example, that's in Catalonia. Still listening. I just have this. Closer. Yes, a transit where you go there and it's like a, a bend machine for. Hormones? Like a vending machine for hormones. Okay, that's great. Thank you. <laughs> I wanted Just to put in a quarter it. and pop in your <laughs> pop your pills. No, no. They, they go straight to the doctor. I don't think even if I will send you the information eh, because I'm okay. talking by by. I I, I don't have okay. my, the yeah. the document in front of me, but I think they don't have a doctor now. So they originally they started like a service from the um, Catalan uh, um, uh, health Hospital. service. Hospital, yeah, health service, yeah. Yeah, from the health service, this uh, kind of surgery. Uh, so they have a doctor, blah, blah, blah. But now I don't think they even have a doctor. Okay. They yeah? just, so it's just... You it's sign clear. up, you get it's it. It's Okay. Yes. Do you know if there's a big yeah. wait list for that or if they're able to just um, process people? Um, don't think so. Okay. Don't think so. Yeah. And comparing with the with here, nothing, nothing. Because again, it's not like in here that in the Tavistock it was centralized. You have that in Catalonia. You have okay. Cruces Hospital in Bilbao. 
with its own um, protocols yeah, and unit, unit. unit. Okay, yeah. you have another one in Malaga in the okay. south you have huh. in Madrid I think two yeah. um, this is and a then, just a, for and, then, and just, it, this is all been doing with uh, uh, the difference with America is is even made with public money yeah 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 so I just wonder if uh, if if Finland and Denmark and Sweden are changing course and Britain is changing yes. course away from affirmative yeah. model of care affirmative model of care yeah yeah, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> if if it seems like the Anglican uh, li liberalism exports certain things but it doesn't export the reforms it seems it, it it exports the decadent i don't know if it exports if if what happens in spain if if britain reverses if spain will reverse later on i wonder if or if it only no, kind of goes in no, one no, direction the, the, oh la perfida Leon. no 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 so we accept those policies but then when they change course no no we don't Gibraltar. change oh interesting Gibraltar. okay the the spanish armada <laughs> there is a history here, <laughs> you know? Yeah, well, there's a lot of history here. And we haven't even <laughs> talked about Latin America and how you guys screwed, <laughs> took it over. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that's, like, like, that's like Canada. A country is like Argentina. Canada. Chile. Uh, Argentina, Chile, Uruguay. Yeah, the South Cone. Hmm? Mm -hmm. um, I it, like Canada. Is, but with less money. Yeah, yeah. Is Spain at all tied to Latin America the same way that England is still kind of tied to Canada? Or yeah. is there still like kind yeah. of a cultural confluence? Uh, oh, oh, the la you know, it's language. No, language always. The language, yes, okay. Yeah. Oh, and, but there's no real holdings. That Spain has zero power or influence. Uh, or, or, uh, no, nothing, nothing. Okay, nothing. yeah, interesting. But they are always looking at them, you know? Yeah. Is their door to Europe? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The market, so the immigrants and, come. And it, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah. And everything, no, the, the the business in Latin America, well, they're very interested that they get into Spain because then they can get into Europe. And yeah. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So apart, apart from trying to the market with North America, obviously, yeah. but um, it's another. Um, another market for them too. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So, with with dealing with your daughter's situation and her concerns, her mental health, or, or just her, her behavioral difficulties and her trans identity, um, what steps did you take to get uh, assistance for yourself to understand what was going on and, and uh, or to get support of some, some sort? What has been helpful for you to process? Helpful this? for me eh, has been... Um to know that uh, I wasn't alone. Okay. That was very important. To know that I wasn't mad. <laughs> very important too. Yeah, yeah. That gave me a lot of, because you doubt. That was best for your children, no? Anyway, and then feminists, and then, yes, yes, seeing the, that has helped me a lot. The fact that uh, she's out of her room and living a quite normal life, that's yeah. true. Yeah. That has helped me uh, a lot, personally. Yeah. Has she ever had... But, it's, it's, but it's still that... Um, fear and worry, fear, concern. No? Yeah. What is she going to... Because you don't want them to suffer, for God's sake. Yeah, no. Do you I see? You don't, I mean, do you see her care, developing, developing the capacity to make close relationships with her peers, or is she alienated? No, no. He's got a, quite a good relationship with, with a few boys. Oh, yeah, huh. yeah. Still with girls, I think it's still difficult. I don't know if it is because she likes them. Yeah, and then is socially awkward with. Uh, feelings of attraction yeah hmm. what i know is that she hasn't had any sexual contact as she and she's 18 yeah. which i think is a bit not even holding hands 
holding hands and yeah, nothing more. And so on and so nothing forth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, and nothing else. Yeah. I'm sure. And has your other yes. daughter, your other child, been of help? She has her own issues. She's a teenager. <laughs> so you really you know, dealt, a, must, dealt a winning I hand here. Been, <laughs> I must have been a very bad person in my previous oh. life. Oh, oh, ouch. <laughs> Are you saying some karma is being worked out with you and your children? No, it's just extraordinary. Yeah, it's know, just no, extraordinary. Sometimes you sit down and you think. What else? No, yeah, no. yeah. Hmm. Hmm. And what organizations have you found helpful, or are you participating in that you'd like to share? Well, uh, Amanda, which uh, is. Uh, Could you spell that for me, and then I'll link that yes. in the description. A M A N D A. Amanda. Okay. Yeah. Amanda. 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 Eh? Yeah. That stands is is like a game, no? Uh, words. Uh, yeah, acronyms. Because Amanda yeah. is the one you love and oh. is the acronym for association of mothers yes. with children with mm. yeah well the one you love so yeah well wow. and then um, that that and then feminists but that amanda is specifically and they're doing an amazing job and they have opened a lot of eyes they have um, managed to get a lot of professionals finally open okay to, to say what the, in, they, in they, spain they, specifically they have, yes they have a web eh? they have a web a website a yeah. a, okay yes a, i will send you some links yes and uh, also you want uh, the information for this the transit because um, the, uh, the a feminist association from catalonia they did an amazing uh, research about this unit transit Okay, mm -hmm. transit, okay. And, no, and they analyze the numbers, uh, and you can extra extrapolate, and then they they made like another, taking like from that, they did another, um, more just data about the different um, regional areas, numbers, no? How high increased, and it's funny, no? How yeah. they define uh, what the information where they were given no so in some in some uh, hospitals only the number but not differentiated by sex so you have all that in the in those two, two researches yeah yes yeah so and i was uh, storied history of your country of origin aside and uh storied history of your own family aside what what do you do that brings you pleasure in life what what's something that that you uh, my in, garden your what my gar my garden your garden of pleasure. yeah yes that's what do you grow they, oh depends on the year my mood oh. <laughs> but i obviously i have some established uh, plants but um Yes, uh, and it's something that I knew. I I found out I knew quite all in life. I mean, I because in Spain we live in flats generally. Yeah. And so yeah, reading used to enjoy, make me lose myself, but I can't concentrate anymore. And I guess this is part of the yeah, no, I can't concentrate in a fiction book anymore. For books. But I have read, Fiction books. Oh yeah, okay. Mm, yeah, you used to read a yeah, lot. No. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, books of history. I used to love reading them. Yeah. Um, and fiction and poetry, and um, because I'm, I'm I'm linguist by trade. By, really? Yeah. Yeah. By trade. So yeah. you you teach linguists or uh, ling linguistics or you translate? What um, was your... Well. I, I I work in secondary schools, then a bit in, at university too. Yeah. And um, translator. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Language but is wonderful. Any, What's your favorite uh, language? It's, it's, oh, they all. I uh, like it all. Obviously, I like the ones I can control a bit, a bit more. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 but I, I, it's, it's so interesting. I, I'm. Oh, so my friends say, "Oh, you saw that one." You know, in, maybe in London, in the in the underground, I, I heard something. Mm. No, no, no. It's not Asiatic. No, no, no. That, that. And I had to ask. I had to ask. 
ah, ok. <laughs> og nu er det her. <laughs> Leave the strangers yeah, no, alone. <laughs> yeah. But this is like music for my ears. You know? Yes, yes, yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. Well, Anne, thank you very much for sharing and for giving me a, a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, history of, of Spain. Spain goes really deep, very powerful, very come and go, a lot of wars, a lot of, a lot of culture. A lot of wars. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a yeah. lot like of conquest. Yeah. We were an empire yeah. for the British. You were the empire for we were a the period empire. of time. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's funny how they rise yeah. and fall. Um, we'll see what happens after America's petered out. What well, that, that is going. That center is going east now. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll <laughs> yeah. see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Well, yeah. thank you very much for for joining me. I'm gonna end. Thanks the to you. Oh, yeah. I have enjoyed it a lot now because nobody listens to my story lessons. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A little passive entertainment or edutainment, maybe from time to time. Okay, well, now tell me what are you going to do with all this? Well, I'm going to stop the recording now, so boop, and then... Boop.